Hey, what's up? John Charette here. And a few days after I published my review of my ProArt 4070 Ti, I received an email from a Zeus. At first, I thought it was spam. I mean, who am I to get noticed by them? Here are the six things that I learned from an hour and a half conversation with JJ Guerrero, the manager of PR and partnerships at a Zeus, who used to be, this is a mouthful, their senior technical product marketing manager for 15 years. Dude is smart AF, and I wanna share what I learned with you. Number one. Firstly, in my review, I say that ProArt is a sub-brand of ASUS. It's not correct. It's actually a series, and Tough is in the same boat. It is a series of ASUS. The only sub-brand they have is their ROG Republic of Gamer sub-brand, where the Strix card falls into. That being said, Asus is really working hard to expand on their ProArt series. Soon there'll be a case and an all-in-one cooler coming soon. Number two, let's talk design elements of this card. Something very interesting that I that I missed and subconsciously I guess I knew is just this whole black on black that they, you know, Asus did with their design. They actually anodized the heatsink to be black as well. Now, most GPUs are silver. Here, let me grab one here. See, it's a silver heatsink like every, every other card. I mean, the fact that ASUS took the time, effort, and money to anodize it black just shows that the effort they want to go to keep their cool design aesthetic in the ProArt series. Price alert! Did you see that there was a short, short sale of the ProArt 4070 Ti OC that dropped the price by $150? Looking at videocards.com now, I see that it's expired. Uh, they were alluding to the fact that it was a price drop because there's been hints and now confirmed information that at CES 2024, they will be announcing the 4000 series super cards and that may play into the price drop. Speaking of CES, I'm going this year to cover the, cover the footage. So stay tuned for those updates. Number three, next up is drivers. Now in my reviews, I have always used the game ready drivers by Nvidia. I hadn't considered that someone may be using a pro art GPU would be a creator workstation that may want to use the NVIDIA Studio drivers. What's the difference between the two drivers? Well, the Game Ready driver is, is fine-tuned for games, upcoming patches, and bugs releases. You get those every couple weeks. Similar thing happens on the other side, the Studio Ready, but they're for application-specific workstation apps like Adobe Creative Cloud Suite and NVIDIA Omniverse, or even DaVinci Resolve, which I've now started using. Now, is one driver set better than the other? Well, it kind of depends on your use case. If you're a gamer, stick with the Game Ready. If you use application, I would stick with the Studio drivers because they're they're, they're tuned, they, they work better. I saw a pretty significant performance difference in DaVinci Resolve when I did install the Studio Ready drivers, which I'm going to continue using. Number four. So an interesting thing about the ProArt series GPUs and less about the 4070 Ti, but more on the 4080 is the size. When they design these cards, they are 2.5 slot cards. And the reason being is they wanted to be able to slot multiple GPUs into a workstation motherboard. Now, if you look at the size of this 4070 Ti compared to some other ones, it's it's comparable. It's the same as the Zotac OC or uh, even that, that MSI Aventus. But when you get into the 4080 series, it's a different ball game and a lot of them are much, much bigger. What Azus did that was special was they were able to keep the form factor of their 4080 the exact same size as this 4070 Ti. So that means you can slot them side by side. Other cards are just they're just too thick. I happen to have a Pro Art B650 motherboard in my system and I'll show you some B-roll of me putting in multiple cards and it fits really well with even some breathing room. Number five. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. I have been mispronouncing Asus my entire life. Asus, repeat once again, Asus. Probably like the Porsche Porsche thing, but I mean, after having a conversation with someone who's worked at Asus for 15 years, I realized 
very quickly my mistake. My bad. Hey, if you haven't liked this video or subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it. I'm still a small guy, you know, starting to grow and every subscriber matters, so thank you. Number six. Okay, here's the last bit of information that I learned and it, it, it applies to all of the ASUS GPUs. First, they all include zero dB operating mode, which means that the fan stops spinning when you're not using the card, making it essentially silent. They all have dual fan bearings in the fans, meaning they'll last longer, which is awesome. And lastly, ASUS was the first one to come up with this like 100% automated production system called Auto Extreme. It's, it's a full robotic system that literally puts all the cards together and, and it's fully automated. There's no, no one you know, turning screws or there to make any mistakes. So in theory, there's less defects giving you a better product in the end. So that's it, there are your six things. I mean, it's not every day that I get to talk to a representative from one of these large organizations like Zeus. So Thank you very much for reaching out. It, it was a pleasure. Hopefully I was able to share some information with you. To any other vendors out there, I mean, please reach out. I always wonder certain things or ask questions about cards as I'm doing reviews, and I would love to learn more information to share it with you. If you have any other questions, you wanna learn some more, please leave a comment down below, and I appreciate you here. Thank you very much, and stay tuned to the next one.